Yeah. Hey, yeah. you're right. Yeah, good. Thanks. Um, so I've had had a look through the the nominations, and it's. I mean, it's as always. I'm. I shouldn't be surprised because. But every year, I'm kind of like so pleased of how high the quality is in British independent filmmaking. But how how I'll start with, with you, Michael. How how impressed and encouraged are you by the the standard of the films that are nominated this year? Like it's 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 motivating. Like even the way you're speaking about it, it's even just making me realize that how important this is. Do you get what I'm trying to say to you? Because you're right, it's that the levels are, are rising, the stories that are being told, it's just inspiring to, to kind of hear this. Um, you know, it's making you kind of think as well, like what stories are there to be told that you haven't seen before? Do you get what I'm trying to say? And that's what I kind of recognise with this. There's so many different ways of telling these stories also. So man, it was it's, it's amazing. It's an amazing work. It's amazing talent across all boards. And it's just, amazing to witness this at this stage of my career man because I'm, I'm still learning constantly so it's very inspiring yeah and holiday I mean how, do you get the chance to watch much as as an actress I mean obviously you know you're very much in the industry so you have lots of friends and you'll know lots of people who work on different projects and you'll want to kind of see them and 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 sort of give feedback and stuff but just as a kind of audience member because I guess you're sort of traveling and stuff so much do you get the chance to watch as much as you'd like to yeah, well, I mean, I've been quite lucky this year because I've been vote voting. So I've, yeah. been, you know, I've managed to get the links to them all, which has been fantastic. You know, in a year that I uh, haven't gone to the cinema as much as I have, I've been able to, you know, watch an amazing array of diverse films from my sofa, which has been fantastic. Um, and really exciting to see the nominations today and to see, you know, kind of like who's made it through and... Um, uh, and yeah, and it's, I think, I just think the, the films this year are, um, yeah, they're on another level, all of them. And so it's, um, it's really exciting. Yeah, yeah, because uh, Mike, I was going to ask as well, sort of how encouraged you are by this ability, it seems this year, obviously, we've been going through such a difficult year that it seems there's been a real kind of carry, carrying on in the face of adversity spirit. And a lot of these um, movies, particularly some of the kind of short films, they've been shot and stuff and been made during the kind of lockdown months, some of them, you know, so just wondering yeah, about yeah. Um, how in, infused you are by the kind of industries and the British film industry's ability to, to keep going despite all the kind of obstacles in place. I feel like it's nothing but, like I said before, motivating to, to make you want to do more. You get what I'm trying to say? People are creating these films in such a short space of time and with all of the stress that's going on around it all, it's like, how do you not feel motivated to go and create something, to do more work, to just do a lot more as a person, man? Like, honestly, bro, it's, it's just very inspiring. Like I said before, man, it's honestly just very inspiring. Um, and it's wonderful work. It's not like it's just churned out. People are just churning stuff out for no reason. It's actually quality work, good story. So, you know, it's glad I'm, I'm, I'm happy that um, Biffers are, are acknowledging this and um, champion those people that, that deserve it because um, this is really, really well deserved. Yeah, and Holiday, you mentioned the kind of diversity of films you've been you've been able to see. I noticed, and obviously, the best uh, director there's two female directors, and I know obviously that's two out of five. It's still it's not sort of four or five out of five, but it still seems to be moving in the right sort of direction. Because I mean, going back a few years, there were times when that list would have no female filmmakers in there. Yeah, I know we literally are just going back a couple of years. It's it, I do think it's amazing how um, how much it, it feels like. Uh, the industry world, the world has turned a corner in the last couple of years and um, and you know and now it feels like the norm to see um, stories of uh, female driven stories of female friendship and through their sort of like female gaze whatever that is um, and and I think that's uh, that's, uh, that's really exciting because they're the kind of you know they're the kind of films I want to watch because I'm a female. <laughs> And yeah. obviously, you, um, you, I mean, you've obviously been in some kind of big kind of movies, few big high budget movies, but is there a different feeling about making a kind of independent film? Is there a more, I know the word passion project has become a bit of a cliche, but that kind of idea of everyone kind of in it together, those, where, whereas yeah. rather than being a kind of cog in a big machine, do you, do you really get, get something out of working on smaller projects? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it, it does sound cliche, but you, you kind of do feel like much more of a team. Um, uh, and you know it's really hard to get independent films financed and to get them made and then to get them out there and each stage is a struggle so 
you know, when something like Biffa comes up and you do get recognised, it is so incredibly exciting because it feels like such an achievement that you've kind of all got there together. So, you know, any nomination in any category feels like an achievement for everyone that worked on that movie, um, on that film. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, I mean, I think making independent films is, feels like what it is. <laughs> you know, <laughs> feels, yeah. like, feels like the creative process that you want to be be part of. Yeah. And Michael, I mean, I, I, I had to yesterday submit my top 10 films of 2020 and right top of the list, literally number one was Lovers Rock because it is one of the greatest things wow. I've seen in such a long time. I just wanted to ask, I mean, firstly, Amazing, you've got good moves. I'll just say that for the offset. You have one. <laughs> um, obviously, you're was... watching my way, Stefan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, no, but it's so nice. <laughs> it's, it, I just wanted to know quickly about working with Steve and also, you know, like that, that was obviously on BBC on a Sunday night. I just wondered if you kind of got if you were able to sort of sit down and watch that with, with the family or have a kind of zoom afterwards to kind of celebrate it yeah man um like i'll start off with the experience with steve i mean steve is just an, a, an amazing person in general and he's obviously just an exceptional artist so the fact that i got to soak up a lot of what he was um, doing you know just on set just being him as a person was 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 enough for me you get what I'm trying to say, but on top of that, being able to be directed by him was just that another level. So, yeah, man, he kind of just gave me, um, um, I'd say, little gems to just keep going, you know, as a person and as an artist. So, yeah, man, he he proper helped me out um, in my time filming with him, even though it was so sh so short. It was it was very fruitful. Um, and what was the second question that you said? Oh, I was about like watching it. If you got a chance to kind of sit. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to yeah, I got to see it with my with my close family. You know, um, the ones that I kind of live at home with, and people that are always around my house anyway. Because you know, that's 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 our social bubble. So yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, man, it was good to sit to watch it with them though. Cool. Anyway, thank you so much for your time today, guys, and thanks for championing all these brilliant, brilliant awards. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching. Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you guys!